here's the plan. We get the warhead and we hold the world ransom for one million dollars. What's up, Cinemaniacs? I'm back, and who am I? I am Shane Moore from youtube.com slash themoviehousemaniacs. This is a spoiler-free review, so I'm not gonna go into extreme detail, but I will give you what I can. This is my review for Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. So much to digest. There are so many questions that people had going into this movie, but first what I wanna talk about is the first act of this film. It seems like a lot of the critics are having a really difficult time with the first act of this film. They seem to be finding it confusing and it jumping around way too much. Personally, I found the first act very well done. I enjoyed the jumping around, catching us up on everything that has happened and bringing us to where we are now. I dug it. I found that if you watched Man of Steel or followed the DC comic books a little bit, maybe a little bit of the animated series like the Justice League or the Batman animated series or the animated movies, the first act can actually be great. I mean, could they have cut out a little bit of this film, cut out a little bit of the fat and made it a little bit of a shorter film? Yes, but I do not think they could have done that in the first act. And actually, I'm really looking forward to the three hour director cut because it could even be better. But I digress. The acting in this movie was very good good. Amy Adams as Lois Lane. It's freaking Amy Adams, so of course she's good. Henry Cavill as Superman did another, another super, super job. job. And I really enjoyed seeing how his character arc has grown and where he's at now and what he's dealing with internally. Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. Like, as of you know, if you've watched any of our Cine Talk shows, you know that I thought he was going to be good to very good. I was a bit let down. They went in a different direction with this character than I wanted. It wasn't bad, just different and not as good as I had hoped. But now let me get into some of these smaller roles. We have Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot. I will admit when I am wrong, she was fierce and she totally embodied that warrior princess that enjoys a battle. To cut it short and not give too much away, you will love seeing her for the first time. Jeremy Irons is Alfred. He was the best damn Alfred we have ever gotten, ever. Lawrence Fishburne as Perry White. I love I love him as Perry White. He was so good and he was even better in this movie than he was in Man of Steel. Now on to Batfleck. I loved almost everything he did with these two characters. I wish I could have even seen more of him. And after this movie was done, all I want, all I am aching for is a Batman solo pick. His Bruce Wayne was very good. His Batman was very good. And in all actuality, he could potentially be my favorite Batman and Bruce Wayne after I watch this movie a few more times. Right now, he's He's not quite there, but he could be very soon. And I totally understand the debate between the two characters, between Bruce Wayne and Batman, and how he played each character. I could see how some people might not like him. Personally for me, I really thought he did a great job. But I don't think any sane person whatsoever will say that Batfleck was bad as Bruce Wayne or Batman. I just don't think you can see that. If you do think that, then you need to check yourself into Arkham. And I could go on a rant, a total rant, about the Batflex montage and how it got me so incredibly amped up. How his large physique is finally the way it's supposed to be. He's not only supposed to be imposing as the dark bat, but also just his mere presence is supposed to be intimidating, especially for when he's an older character. But instead of going into all that, I will stop myself and address some of the bad. There was some blatantly bad CG in this film. It was rough. I was just like, ugh, that's so green screen. And they could have done it using a practical effect and it would have looked so much better. And actually, they probably could have just thrown some of those scenes out altogether and saved a few minutes. And some of that CG actually ends up in that big, huge fight between the two comic book gods. I enjoyed the fight, I did, but it's not how I envisioned it. I wanted this fight a little bit darker, a little bit more heart wrenching and I didn't get that but even though the fight was sloppy at times it was still good and fun to watch the script overall was pretty thin and some of the dialogue was a bit flat you know lacking the feels it's lacking the feels and I don't believe that that was because of the delivery but maybe because of the scoring that was around it which I did notice some of the scoring and not really in a good way but guys 
This movie's good. It's very good. As of now, it's not great, but I think the more I watch this movie, the better it will get like Man of Steel. Man of Steel for me, I started off when I first watched it, it got a six and a half out of 10. Now that movie is probably a nine out of 10 for me. But Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice will not have as much wiggle room because I believe that Batman vs Superman is an eight out of 10. I enjoyed this film way too much. I was never bored and I loved all the nuggets for the future films. And oh man, did we get so many nuggets. It was a jugger nugget of a movie. <laughs> I think I need to trademark Jugger Nugget. There was so much to digest. I need to see it again soon, like now. But I enjoy comic books. I love the animated stuff that's out there, both the series and the animated movies. I gobble that stuff up. <laughs> but that stuff is not for everyone. So there will be some serious debates out there about how good or bad this movie actually was. I don't know. I still need some more time to digest this two hour and 31 minute jam packed Jugger Nugget of a film. And yes, we will be coming out with a spoiler edition soon so I can get more in depth. But what I want to know is what did you think about Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice? Any of it? All of it? Sound off in the comment section below. But first, don't be afraid to go and hit that subscriber button. But please join the debate. Go see Batman vs Superman this weekend. Oh, you've already seen it? Go see it again. Peace! If you watch the show on YouTube, please click that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.